All right, welcome back, everyone. It's Doha here, and in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide, and I'll be showing you guys how to get the legendary Iridian artifact, the Shaluter. Red text is luck has nothing to do with it. On kill, dramatically increase your legendary drop chance for a short time. Non-dedicated loot drops only. So as you can see here, legendary drop chance is plus 1,000%, and the duration is 12 seconds. So you're going to get a kill, and then for the next 12 seconds, you'll have a plus 1,000% legendary drop chance. All right, so now let's talk about how to get this artifact, and it's actually very simple. All you have to do is come over here in your menu screen to the Welcome to Pandora vault card and make sure you activate it. Once it's activated, you'll start earning XP towards chests to open, and whenever you open those chests, you have a chance of getting vault card keys. So basically, you just want to keep leveling up your vault card, opening these chests, and once you get five keys, you will be able to buy this artifact from the menu like you saw me do. And as you can see, it appeared in my inventory, as you can see it right there. All right, so now let's get into kind of showing off exactly what this artifact does. It's pretty simple. Like it says, you're going to get a plus 1,000% chance of a non-dedicated legendary drop chance on a kill. Then for the next 12 seconds, you'll get that 1,000% chance effect. As you can see here, I'm going to show you three clips of me killing Gravevor without the artifact on. As you can see here, on the first kill, I only get two legendaries. On the second kill, I get zero legendaries. And by the way, we are on Mayhem 11 here when I'm doing this. So on the second one, we get zero. And on the third kill, we only get one legendary. Now here in just a second, I'm going to cut to three clips, three kills on Grave Ward with the artifact equipped. And you're going to see we get a dramatic increase in legendaries each time. Here's the first kill right here. And you're going to see that there are a lot more legendaries in this group. I'm pretty sure that is five on the first kill. Now remember we are, it's only counting non-legendary drops and I'm pretty sure there is a lob in this bunch and I'm pretty sure the lob does drop as a dedicated drop from Grave Ward as you see it right there. So four dedicated, uh, no, four non-dedicated drops on that one. As you can see here, we get a lot more on this one. This one looks like about six or seven that we get on this one. So just a lot more legendaries in general. And you're going to see here on the third kill, we get another big group of legendaries. And that's basically what this artifact does. I find it more most successful using this artifact uh, whenever you kill a boss. Because you're going to kill a boss and you're going to get that effect. And if you're doing the effect, you know, like with Grave Ward, it takes a second for him to spit his loot out. So you get the kill and the effect is going to take hold because he hasn't released his loot yet. Uh, because like I said, you have to get a kill first and then it activates the effect for 12 seconds. So you get the kill on Graveboard and it takes so much time for his loot to come out that it has time to take effect on that. Uh, and that's pretty much with pretty much any boss you kill for the most part. Uh, but like I said, yeah, I find this more, most successful on bosses for sure. Uh, one thing that I do recommend you doing if you want to use this, and it's definitely, you know, like if you get one, why not, you know, throw, put it on your character and just not have it on you until the, like the very end of a boss fight, you know, cause I did like, I did the whole fight without my Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge on with that other relic on just so I made sure I did not forget to put it on when I was getting those clips and I could definitely tell a damage decrease. Obviously because I did not have a relic on that was very important to my build So obviously you don't want to be running this thing just on all of the time But I don't see a reason why not you can have this thing in your inventory and right before you finish off a kill on like grave or something Just swap to it really quickly and you'll get the effect of the relic and you'll get some extra loot or really any boss you're killing So overall, I mean, it's just a overall just a good relic, you know, I mean it's not good in terms of fighting stuff for sure, but just having in your inventory, throw it on right before you get a, finish off a kill, and there you go. You get you get some extra uh, extra world drops on top of whatever you're getting. I don't see a reason why you shouldn't just have one in your inventory just in case you want some extra world drops. It's just it's basically just up to you. It's personal preference. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got in this video, guys. As you could probably tell in this video. Uh, I just got my flak to level 72 and made this video since this loot source really isn't dependent on what level, uh, what you know, 
in builds or anything. I'm not really showing off a build with this specific artifact or whatever. So it didn't really matter what level my gear and stuff was. But I am working on getting my gear re-leveled and stuff up to level 72. Like I said in some community posts and stuff, I've been working so much. I'm just now getting really time to get caught up on all of my YouTube stuff. But yeah, uh, this gear is still look. Th this gear that I'm using is still working very well for it to be under leveled. Even though I'm here at level 72, it's still working very, very well. I can't wait to go out and get me some more monarchs, get my anoints back on them, and get reset up at this level 72. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.